A Valley mother brought back to Phoenix in handcuffs this weekend. Crystal Wilson arriving at the airport and taken right to jail. She is accused in the disappearance of her 10 year old adopted son, Jesse Wilson, back in 2016. This triggered and a long, long search for this little boy who was missing. Linda Williams joins us live at the 4th Avenue Jail with more. I mean, I remember back to that time, everybody was just perplexed as to what happened to that young boy. Yeah, I still have the original flyer on my desk, John. Now, Buckeye police say they were able to get a grand jury indictment and file charges against Jesse Williams' adoptive mother, Crystal Wilson because they were able with technology to place her in the spot where Jesse's remains were found in 2018. You were indicted by a grand jury. Um, on Krista Wilson, back in the valley she once called home, but not in a place she might have imagined. On one count of abandoning or concealing um, dead body parts. The 55-year-old was extradited from Georgia to face a charge stemming from the death of her 10-year-old adopted son, Jesse Wilson. Crystal had reported Jesse missing back in July of 2016 from their Buckeye home. Despite extensive searches, Jesse was never found. His skeletal remains were found about two years later, six miles from his home. Experts could not determine a cause of death. This case has a lot of similarities to the Casey Anthony case. And in that case, the mother was tried for murder and, and a jury found her not guilty. Local criminal attorney Russ Richelsoff. And that's the same situation here with Jesse is that they have found a body, um, but they haven't been able to determine a cause of death. So the prosecutors can't say beyond a reasonable doubt that this was a homicide. And that's the problem with this case. That's why the case is charged as a class five felony. Krista Wilson faces a class five felony of abandonment and concealing of a body. A conviction could carry a sentence of anywhere from probation to two and a half years behind bars. That might seem like a shockingly light punishment to some, but this is not a homicide charge. If they don't believe that there's a reasonable likelihood of a conviction, on, on a homicide charge, you know, ethically, you know, they they can't, they just can't charge it, even if it, even if it, you know, violates our sense of fairness. Krista Wilson is due back in court for her arraignment this Friday. Linda Williams, Fox 10 News.